What's up folks? I'm Green Beef, and in this video, I'm going to explain the basics of the power systems in Space Haven. I will not cover specific numbers for systems as these may change over time in future balancing. There are four general categories regarding power systems in this game. Generators, storage, distributors, and consumers. The two types of power generators are fuel-based and solar-based. There are three sizes of fuel-based power generators which increase in size, power generation, and fuel rod consumption. Solar panels don't require fuel, but their power generation is based on proximity to the system star. Power capacity nodes provide power storage. Think of these like large batteries for your ship that will keep power flowing if your power generators temporarily stop producing power for whatever reason. Power distribution is handled by three types of power nodes. The regular power node, which provides the most power but obstructs a full tile, wall power nodes, which provide moderate power but obstruct a wall slot, and in-floor power nodes provide low power but only impede construction on that tile. Power generators, storage, and distributors are connected via three types of links, bi-directional send-receive, one-way send, and one-way receive. Power nodes provide wireless power to power consumers within their footprint. These power consumers can be placed into two categories, persistent and intermittent. Persistent consumers are generally low power while intermittent consumers tend to have high loads for shorter periods. Placing larger power nodes with power storage nearby will reduce the impact of intermittent high power consumption while using these systems. Let's look at this in practice in the game. Let's start with a small power generator. Then we'll place a solar panel adjacent to the power generator. And this is optional. Next, we'll place a power capacity node. Then, we place a power node. Finally, place a one-way send link from the power generator to the solar panel. Then, a one-way send link from the solar panel to the power capacity node. And, a one-way send link from the power capacity node to the power node. The connections between the power nodes can be bi-directional. The white pulses traveling along the links indicates power flow. Let's look at the power overlay by pressing E or using the GUI. Here we see a redundant system using two power generators, two solar panels, and four power capacity nodes feeding power nodes throughout the ship. Under normal persistent power consumption, the power capacity nodes are full, but when Sumbatol operates a recycler, the power draw increases, the power capacity nodes are drained, and the power generators refill it as fast as it can. To summarize, use a combination of fuel and solar-based power generators to charge power capacity nodes, then build the appropriately sized power node for the power consumption needs of that room. I hope this has provided you with a general understanding of how power systems work in Space Haven. This is not meant to show off the most efficient setup, but to get you over that initial learning curve so you can come up with creative solutions to the problems you're likely to create. Hey, thanks for joining me, and take it easy.